All right, everybody, I wanted to do a couple of short tutorials uh, to help out with a midterm project. And the first is how to use uh, still images in After Effects. Uh, so it's pretty easy. Just go up to uh, File, Import, File, and then choose, um, choose a still image. I'm going to grab this one that I made the other day in a tutorial. Um, it's going to drop it into your project settings, and you can just drag it then down to your um, composition. Uh, you'll see what happens then is it makes um, the image uh, essentially as long as your entire video. And then all you need to do then is, is sort of crop it down to where you want it. I want it to be at the end of my video, so scroll this over. You can see it should come right at the end of this. And if I play it out, you can see then here's the still. And it's uh, moving along the timeline, but it's just a completely still image. So, um, a few things we can do with this, though, um, of course, we can add transitions, which I'll introduce in another tutorial. Um, but also, um, if we zoom out a little bit here, ooh, that's in, let's zoom out a little bit. You can see that when it drops the image in, it is um, dropping it at the native resolution. So, even though this, this image is quite a bit bigger than the uh, 1280 by 720 pixels that I have. So, you can see that there's more of this image that it is... Um, cropping out, uh, which is actually uh, to our advantage because what we can do is we can we can keyframe this a little bit. So if we go back to the beginning here, let's see, right along here, let's say, uh, and we open up our um, settings for the, um, just click that open, click open transform here, and let's just start with scale. Uh, you can see you can easily scale this up or scale this down. And uh, you know, if, once you scale it down, you you're gonna have to kind of move it to get it centered. Um, but this is a, a really good way. If you wanted to add a little bit of movement with your still images, it's uh, pretty simple to just simply kick, click on the click keyframe button, uh, move ahead in your timeline, and then you can simply just change the scale, make it grow a little bit, and then now we can see if we play this out. <clears throat> we should be able to watch this slowly kind of moving. So this is a great way that you can take your stills and add some subtle motion to them. So that's uh, simply keyframing scale. You can also keyframe position. So um, let's see if we go back here. And <clears throat> if we wanted to, um, we could you know start over, let's say, down here. And then um, click on position. And then as we move forward in the timeline, uh, we can also then, you know, move this, you know, up a little bit, let's say, let's say something like that. And then uh, now we have keyframe both for position and scale. And so if we play this out, we can see now that it is going to kind of zoom in and then it's also slowly kind of moving that light bulb off center so you could definitely be more dramatic with this if you wanted to you could zoom out zoom in you can rotate you can do all kinds of different things you can have different opacity uh, but this is a great way that you can start layering in your um your files and the last thing to remember is you know in after effects always uh think about it just in terms of the timeline anything that's stacked on top of itself this is the audio track, so you don't have to worry about that. But anything, you notice how the files are here. This is sort of stacked on top of this, this one's stacked upon this. So essentially you're revealing each one of these layers as you go through. So if we you know, go from this channel to this video, and then we re next we reveal that um, uh, the still image, uh, just remember that if you're, if you're stacking your images, if you wanted it to end here, then you could just take this and crop it in and then maybe stack another one below that. So um, so that's pretty easy. So that's working with still images. So from your midterm project, you can easily bring in those those stills that we made from uh, you know the five different stills from your project. And think about um, having some transitions between them. Think about moving them around a little bit, adding some subtle motion could really help in your uh, demo reel.